Hello internet, it's Sunny again and today I wanted to talk to you about uh, skin color, not a social justice type of skin color. I just, here, let me explain. So this morning, I think it was this morning, I don't really listen to this show. Ricky Smiley has a morning show uh, on the radio. It's like one of those, you know, urban hip hop stations and it's a morning show and he had a joke where... I guess a really dark woman entered his kitchen and his cast iron skillets I guess he was saying that the cast iron skillets were laughing at her because she was so dark I didn't think it was that funny either but I wasn't offended per se I thought it was kind of uh, not a really good joke just I didn't think it was that funny but a lot of black women were angry and offended by the joke. And I get, I get it. You know, I get why they're mad. Um, there's been this battle going on between dark skinned women and light skinned women for a long time. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what the origins are. I don't even know why there's a battle. I think it's just a matter of preference for men, uh, honestly. I don't think that they should battle. Um, I don't know if it's just because of jealousy. Like I said, I don't know. But, you know, comedians, they like to push the envelope. You know, you got people, like so many people were triggered by Dave Chappelle, by his, by his uh, new special. And then you got people who were really offensive, like Carlos Mencia. I saw him in concert. Nah, uh, I'll never see him again. It was just, ew, it's just not good. Dark skinned women versus light skinned women. Um... Black is beautiful, I will agree. Uh, there are all different types of black women and shades and things like that. Um, I don't think that it's a really big deal when it comes to, you know, men preferring light-skinned women versus them preferring dark-skinned women. I just think that it's a preference, you know, like, I only want to date black men. I like black men. All shades, I don't, I don't really care. I'm single, hey. But, you know, I just, I guess if it's something that, you know, you shouldn't, ma it shouldn't matter what your preference is, uh, you should just date all shades. I mean, it really doesn't work that way. Attraction is a thing. So if you have a dark skinned woman and a black skinned woman and he sees the dark skinned woman, he's like, I prefer her. And the light skinned woman is like, oh my God, I can't believe you. I mean, it's just a preference, you know. You can't really help what your eyes are attracted to and what your what your feelings are about that particular person that you're attracted to. You know, it, you can't help it. When I see Idris Elba, I can't help but be attracted to him. I really can't. Like he's the, he's just it for me. Okay. Uh, let's think of another example. Who's a light skinned guy? I don't know. I'll put someone here. Okay. So. Here's a light skinned guy. I'm not really that attracted to him. Okay, he's just not that cute to me. Idris Elba, light skinned guy. This guy, I don't really like. I mean, he's just not that attracted to me. But we never know. I mean, I could fall in love with a white guy. You never know what God has in store for you. I'm not gonna say that this is overblown because I understand how the black community is. You know, we're all a community and you know, we have to be one and fight the power and all this other stuff. You can't really help who people are attracted to. So if you're going to be progressive and liberal and say you can't really help who you're attracted to, shouldn't that be, you know, a preference? Like if you like tall people, if you like light skinned people, dark skinned people, short people, whoever, it shouldn't matter. Just because people, just because people make it vocal about who they like, it shouldn't affect who you are and how you live your life, you know, because everyone has their preferences. That's all I got to say about that. So, oh yeah. And if you're wondering where I'm wearing this headscarf, I am um, protecting my hair. It's called a protective style. I don't want you to see these twists all over my head. I'm just trying to make my hair grow, you know, but yeah, like subscribe and share the video. I have a new Twitter at right wing sister. Follow me on Twitter. Um, my Instagram is at Sunny Moten. I'll link it all in the description below. I haven't put my social media in the bottom of the description yet, but I will start. So I'll start tweeting and I'll start Instagramming. 
I don't know about Snapchat. I'm too old for Snapchat, honestly. I'm 32. I can't do it. So y'all have a great day. I'll go do the same. Bye.